Oh. Uh, still a beautiful a late afternoon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thought we were going to go with a 10 here. How about an 8 for this evening? Ranby Factor, it is really, really nice. Temperatures are going to slide a little bit as the temperature drops off. Tomorrow evening, 6 to midnight, a severe weather risk. Large hail, damaging winds, tornadoes. Probably not flash flooding because of the movement of the storms. But an enhanced risk now for much of the viewing area, according to the Storm Prediction Center. And anytime after 3 for at least some things to get started. But because of the profile of the atmosphere, extremely strong winds, maybe some isolated tornadoes, and these will be fast moving storms too. So we'll have to watch out for straight line winds over larger areas. This evening, not a cloud in sight, beautiful conditions. After midnight, clouds spread in and are with us pre-dawn. Maybe a break for the morning drive, but low clouds and drizzle are projected through lunchtime and early afternoon and then to clear out and by this time maybe a few spotty storms to pop up near or east of Omaha. That's 530 on storm predictor. There's eight o'clock. Maybe that's a severe storm. And then as we get later along a cold front pressing through a line of storms to develop. This is more certain that this is going to happen. We're not sure about the spotty storms before that. But either way, it's clearing out by midnight and moving away. And then colder weather, such that maybe a couple of wet snowflakes to mix in there early Wednesday morning. So far today, 65, 37, tremendous afternoon, a little chilly this morning. Winds have been light now, no precipitation. We're seven tenths below average moisture for this month. And pollen, a sky high count of juniper and maple tree pollen. No grass pollen, no weed pollen, air quality in the good range. This is Cunningham Lake from our camera at 72nd and Crown Point zoomed in. Oh, that's nice. What a spot that would be to be outside uh, on the lake, maybe 65 degrees with a south breeze at seven. Many locations in the mid 60s right now, but look at the dry air dew point 24. If we're going to have good thunderstorms, severe thunderstorms tomorrow, we got to get the dew points up in the 50s to near 60. So that's a huge change that has to happen. I'm not certain it's going to happen, but at least the Storm Prediction Center sure thinks so. Look how quiet it is. The radar and satellite here across the Midwest as the front that came through yesterday swept through and out to the east of us. And then this is the storm system that has to move over the Rockies and into the Midwest for tomorrow. There's Storm Predictor tonight. There's tomorrow morning, the drizzle. Here's the afternoon again, right in here and there. That's where the storms might get going. 46 the low tonight, turns breezy late tonight, kind of cloudy and breezy tomorrow, cloudy and windy at noontime. And then all of a sudden, four or five o'clock, the sun pops out, temperature spikes to 80, and the threat of severe storms in the evening. That's why we had as a indicated as a red severe weather day. 51 windy on Wednesday, windy again on Thursday. Look at the temperatures again. Oh, lows back into the upper 20s. Highs only in the lower 50s, and Easter Sunday doesn't look nice. Weather updates anytime. Download the KETV mobile app. Sure could use that tomorrow. Interactive radar, storm alerts, latest forecasts on the home screen free for iPhones and Androids. All right, Bill, thanks. Sure thing. Still ahead tonight, the CDC is.